Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of Miscellaneous Friday. Today I'll show you yet again another Power Automate or connector which you can use in your Power Apps to make your Power Apps and your business processes a lot more smarter. So today what we will be using is Twilio and Twitter and I'll show you how using only one button in Power Apps you can tweet and also receive an SMS at the same time. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and do it. So let for that I won't design the app. I'll just uh, show you by inserting a small button. Okay, I won't even rename it because all I need to do is to show you how the Power Automate works. So I'll click on Action and I'll select Power Automate. Here uh, I have already made one, but let me show you from scratch how to build it. So I'll click on Flows. And we see that there are a lot of templates uh, which comes quite handy. So let me show you the template that I'll be using. It comes under the broad category of notifications and it is this. That is post a tweet, make a push notification and send an SMS as well. So I'll click here and then it will connect to all my accounts here uh, when you're first setting up since i've already set this up when you're first setting up and uh, you need to make an account in twilio and here you will have a project name account sid and auth token and also a number so all those you need to add and then i'll click on continue Next, uh, here the only thing that you need to add is your Twilio phone number and then you will click on save and then it's done. So once you click on save, your flow will be saved and then we'll go back and we have it here. Let's add it to our Power Apps button. And let's see what else do we need to add here. We need to add the text of the tweet that we want to show. Suppose I write, hi, this is an emergency or anything that you want to do. Put it on the quote since it's a string. And next, uh, you need to also add the number with the country code. Here, once you add the number, make sure that you again close it on the quotes. And the last thing is the... Uh, text that you would want to receive as an sms so maybe this is also your right as hi and then we'll close the button and once it's done we'll save it once uh, once it's saved then it will start working so here um i won't save this because i haven't sent uh, like i haven't given a particular number here so it won't i won't give the get the uh, result that i want so i have created an app previously with the same steps that i have shown you here so let's see how this works okay so when i'm clicking on tweet let me quickly go back open a new tab and go to twitter yeah so let's see what do we receive so when i come to my profile i see that i have received an emergency tweet okay so i'll delete it to, to prevent people from knowing that i have received a tweet and here again i'll just um, simply screenshot the text that i have received and maybe send it to my mail so that we know that i have received received it so let me wait wait a minute uh, till i do this to show the text that i received on my phone so i'll go back to my gallery on my phone and i'll add it and yeah it is saved as draft now i'll open my mail this is uh, here the mail is just to receive the screenshot of the text that I to show you that basically to show you the demo that I have received the SMS. So I'll go to drafts. And here we can see the screenshot that I have received. So when I open this. 
we see that I have received the text which says that hi this is an emergency SMS so I think that uh, using a simple click and only a button in Power Apps uh, since we can do so many things it will be quite handy in your business processes or maybe if you are building a simple app for your own use uh, or maybe if you are using this as a reminder it will be quite helpful so I hope you really liked it and I am waiting to see you make your Power Apps uh, become smarter and add more functionality to it every day. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you really liked it.